Hello students, how are you all? So, today we are going to start chapter 3rd of Geography, Vegetation and Wildlife Resources. In this chapter you will study about living resources on the earth, natural vegetation, classification of forest, wildlife, living resources on the earth. Scientists have found out that life appeared in the ocean in the form of plants. Slowly, various other types of organisms appeared on the earth which were broadly classified as animals and plants. The animals which grow are known as natural vegetation. It includes forest, grasses and shrubs. The original natural vegetation of the earth has been modified by human beings. Nowadays, all types of plants, whether natural or modified, are included in natural vegetation. Wildlife refers to all plants, animals, birds and organisms which live in their natural habitat. Plants were followed by animals and human beings. The life-bearing layer of the earth is called biosphere. It is a narrow zone of contact between the atmosphere, lithosphere and hydrosphere. This is the image of a biome having its distinct flora and fauna. Natural vegetation. Plants need air, water, sunlight and nutrients from the soil to grow. The growth of vegetation is mainly controlled by temperature and rainfall. They are the two main factors for the growth of plants. In the areas where rainfall is heavy, the forests are thick. As the rainfall decreases, the size and the concentration of trees is also reduced. In the areas of low rainfall or deserts, shrubs of short trees are common. In cold regions, the growing season is very short. Therefore, plants occur in scattered patches in the form of mosses and lichens. Plants occur in distinct groups in areas having similar climatic conditions. A region with naturally occurring flora and fauna that have adapted themselves to their environment forms a biome. Each biome is different with its particular physical features, climate, vegetation and wildlife. Forests are found in humid climates, grasses are found in regions of moderate rainfall and shrubs grow in dry regions. We have already studied about the world distribution of vegetation region in class 7. Here we will study about forest. This is the world map showing different types of forest. Classification of forest. Forest can be divided into three broad types on the basis of the location and the types of climatic conditions. First, tropical hardwood forest. Second, Mediterranean forest. Third, temperate softwood forest. Tropical hardwood forest. On the basis of temperature and rainfall, Tropical hardwood forests are further subdivided into two groups. Tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest. Tropical evergreen forests are also known as tropical rainforest. These forests are found in the heavy rainfall areas. The trees of these forests do not shed their leaves at the same time and appear green. Zaire Basin in Africa, Amazon Basin in South America and many parts of Southeast Asia are the areas of tropical evergreen forest. In India, they are common in the Western Ghats. This is the image of evergreen forest. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Kerala and northeastern parts of the country, hot and humid climate with heavy and well distributed rainfall, 200 cm are found here. The trees of these forests are very tall in height up to 60 meters. Several species of trees are found here and have dense luxuriant vegetation. These forests are also called selva. The trees have hardwood and broad leaves that form a thick canopy at the top. This prevents sunlight from penetrating into the forest and the interiors are dark and damp. Mosses and ferns grow on the ground. Climbers are creepers like lianas grow around the tall tree trunk. The broad leaves of the trees allow transpiration of surplus moisture. The trees like mahogany, ebony, rosewood, rubber and palm are found here. Making commercial utilization of these forests is difficult. The animals found in Indian rainforest are elephant, lemur, monkey and deer. Tropical deciduous forest are also known as monsoon forest because they are common in the monsoon areas of the world. These forests are commonly found in India, Myanmar, South China, East Brazil and central parts of America. These forests are found in the areas of hot with distinct wet and dry season. These forests receive summer rainfall June-July, August-September, 
ranging from 100 to 200 cm. The vegetation of these forests are not as dense as evergreen forests due to moderate rainfall. The trees of these forests shed their leaves during the dry season to conserve moisture. This is the image of tropical deciduous forest. Trees are medium in height, 30 to 40 meters. Sal, teak, sandalwood, shisham, bamboo are the typical trees found here. Eucalyptus is common in Australia. The animals found in Indian deciduous forest are lion, tiger and numerous kinds of reptiles. Mediterranean forest. These are mainly located around the Mediterranean Sea. The main areas are shores of Europe, Asia, North Africa and southwestern parts of South Africa. These forests are usually found in the areas of dry summer and moderate rainfall during winter. This is the image of palm tree and this is the image of bamboo tree. The trees of these forests are widely scattered and have spiny, waxy, small and leathery textured leaves. They have long roots and thick bark. The trees retain moisture during summer season. Cork olive and citrus fruit trees are found here. The animals found here are golden jackal, mufflon, bizarre goat, aardwolf and mediterranean gecko. Temperate softwood forest or boreal forest. These are commonly known as coniferous forest. These forests are common in the higher latitudes of northern hemisphere and high mountains in Europe, Asia, North Canada and USA. The wood of these forests is soft. In India, it is found on the southern slopes of the Himalayas and commonly known as mountain forest. Winters are long and severe and the summer season is very short. Precipitation is received in the form of snow in winter. This is the image of temperate forest. This is the image of coniferous forest. Trees are tall and conical in shape. The snow cannot accumulate in them due to their shape. The trees do not shed their leaves and look green. The leaves are thick and needle shaped. Pine, fir, spruce, chidar, deodar, silver, fir, oak, chestnut, walnut and maple are some of the common trees in these forests. These trees have commercial importance and are used for various purposes such as making of pulp, plywood etc. The animals commonly found in Indian softwood forest are Kashmir stag, spotted deer, Tibetan antelope. This is the image of pine tree, oak tree. This is the image of chestnut tree. Forests are the breathing lungs of the civilization. Human beings have destroyed much of the natural vegetation for their need and greed. Deforestation in a rampant manner has depleted the resources and led to the loss of habitat for wildlife, ecological imbalance and soil erosion. Recently, several steps have been taken to stop the exploitation and destruction of the forest. Some of the initiatives taken are as follows. Afforestation or large-scale plantation of trees, each one plant, one policy, efficient utilization of forest produces and usage of substitutes of wood, discouraging the practice of shifting cultivation, protecting forest from forest fires, enforcement of a number of law and guidelines to protect the prohibit deforestation, encouraging social forestry. Do you know forest fire is a natural disaster to forest? Do you know? In India, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands have 87% of their land under forest cover and that is the maximum amount of forest cover. Awareness about the importance of forest needs to be spread among people of all communities. One Mahotsav and Chipko movement should be encouraged. Wildlife Wildlife includes non-domesticated animals such as birds, fishes and animals which make forest as their natural habitat. The existence of wildlife is essential to maintain a balance in our environment. It is a significant part of our ecosystem. Wildlife varies from place to place due to climatic variations. There is a variety of wildlife. Over a million of species are already known and catalogued. Many new animals, especially small ones, are discovered every year. Natural vegetation and wildlife are interlinked. The type of natural vegetation in an area determines the type of wildlife available there. Destruction of forest will thus result in the destruction of wildlife too. Wild animals are hunted for various purposes like meat, skin, horns, etc. in the various parts of the world. It disturbs the ecological balance of the environment. You can see in this image Siberian cranes at Bharatpur bird sanctuary. Many birds have become extinct and many are on the verge of extinction. Our forests are the treasure of biological diversity. Millions of species of animals are harbored here. 
deforestation and urbanization are the main cause for the sufferings of animals many animals have become extinct because they have lost their habitation do you know kookaburra is known as laughing jackass it is found in australia you can see these images these are the images of all the animals found in wildlife sanctuary there is a great need for the preservation of wildlife several steps have been taken by the government to preserve the wildlife they are hunting of wild animals and birds have been banned national parks and wildlife sanctuaries are being set up in different parts of the world poachers and hunters are penalized project tiger a wildlife conservation project was launched in 1973 in corbett national park this is the image of tiger it is the most successful conservation venture that aims at tiger conservation in specially constituted tiger reserves throughout india summing up the plants which grow naturally are known as natural vegetation the original natural vegetation of the earth has been modified by the human beings tropical evergreen forests are also known as tropical rainforest these forests are found in heavy rainfall areas tropical deciduous forests are also known as monsoon forest because they are common in the monsoon areas of the world mediterranean forest are mainly located around the mediterranean sea temperate softwood forest or boreal forest are commonly known as coniferous forest deforestation and urbanization are the main cause for the sufferings of animals thank you class let's meet in the next chapter